<laughs> okay, guys, we're going to crack on. Um, so next up, we want to get up who uh, Steve and I think will be fighting tonight. So can I get Jack Wenlock and Chris Reese? Pretty boy Jack and that. Okay, bit of a bold statement what we've just said. We reckon this one's going to be fighting tonight. Um, I'll start with you, Chris, because obviously um, you're to my right and I always start with the person to my right. Uh, it's great to see you, man. Great to see you. Um, so I'm going to ask you the same question I asked everyone at the start. How's your training going and what has made you come back after all this time? Uh, training's going all right. Uh, been doing a, doing a bit. It's uh, not, you know, I'm a bit older now, aren't I? So it's uh, just trying to train around a few little aches and pains. But yeah, I'm all right. Training's going well. I'm enjoying it in the bag. So, yeah. So what's, what's actually made you come back after all this time? Because obviously you've had, a long, you've had a long rest and a long layoff on boxing. Um, so what's made you want to come back and fight on the 6th of May? Uh, I kept seeing Mickey Gilliver putting up a, a post for his daughter um, and he wasn't getting much feedback from it so I, I sort of just phoned him and said look I've been out of the ring for quite a few years but you know, there's been quite a few few shit things go on recently so I need something to focus on and just uh, you, you've got two paths aren't you? you either go and go a bit wild or you go and focus and do something that's a bit for the body soul and mind so uh, Boxing's always been great for that, for me anyway. So, uh, yeah, decided to, to take up. Me and Jack were supposed to fight about four years ago. I always said then I thought it would be a good fight. He was the same sort of styles. We go forward, uh, both aggressive, don't really step off. So it's got the potential to be a really good fight. So when Steve said it to me, I went, yeah, that'll be a good one. So you say you were supposed to fight four years ago. Um, do you think your mentality is the same then? As it is now, do you think you've got the same kind of passion for the, for, the, for, the, for the fight four years ago to now? It's all business in the ring, mate. All business. It's nothing personal. Jack knows that, but you get in there. I want to put on a good show for everyone. Everyone talks about a good show, and you've got two fighters who bring it. It's got fireworks right over it. It's got, it's got, got potential to be a good fight, so I want to give a good fight to people. So, so show, show is still, still a bit of life left in the old dog, yeah. <laughs> So, Jack, I come, I, thank you, Chris. I'll come to Jack now. So, Jack, obviously, I just want to know how your training is going and, and, and what you've been up to. Yeah, so the, uh, the training is going very well. I sort of, after um, Steve sort of came to me with Chris, and I obviously I accept it, I don't say no, I bumped into Chris literally two days later. And I seem to, like, obviously we were meant to fight like four years ago, and I remember him being a little bit heavier. <laughs> and I seen him light, I was like, oh, crap, I better get stuck in and crack on then. <laughs> So I better take it serious. So, yeah, we've taken it seriously and um, I'm feeling good. I've got to say, you put the pressure on now with uh, your statement, so we've got to go out there and perform. <laughs> so, obviously, so, obviously, Chris, uh, Jack's been active. He's fought on tank promotions recently. Well, not recently, but a few months back. Um, and you've actually... Done, when was the last time you fought? It, was, it has to be literally about, about four and a half years ago. Do you think that's going to be a massive impact on you going back into the ring or not? Not for me, no. No, I'll go in now. I'll, I'll give 110% every time I get in the ring. It didn't matter who was put in. I'd go there with the intention of winning. That's, that's what you go in there and that's what you've got to do. So that's what I'll plan on doing, yeah. So, Jack, obviously you fought not too long ago. And obviously Chris has fought four and a half years ago. Do you think that's going to play a massive, have a massive impact on how you approach this fight? Uh, no, not at all. I've trained like any, like just the same as I normally do. I've got people watching, you know, I've got to perform and I've got to try and get that win. So don't make no difference to me. <laughs> oh, man. So, Chris, I know I'll get coming to you because you're not fought in like four and a half years. So I've got to keep coming to you. So do you think, obviously, he, he, he fought on tank promotions and he, he, he won the fight. Will that play into, because he's won, and you've not fought for four and a half years. Do you think that will have an impact of how you go into the fight on come Saturday? No, I just go in there and just, no. you know, just get on and do the business. That's all. That's all I do. There's always going there to, with one thing. And that's in I intend to win. That's that's it. 
It's a, that's mindset. So you've heard that, Jack, yeah? His intent is to go in there and win this fight after four and a half years. What do you say to that? Well, he's not going to go in there and try and lose, is he, Drew? I mean, you know, I'm still looking for that stoppage win, to be honest. And I'm going to try my hardest to get that next Saturday. So we'll see what happens. Uh, got massive respect for Chris, raising a bit of money. So fair play. Really looking forward to it. So as, um, as Jack says, you're raising a bit of money. You just tell us, you said about Reese, Mickey, Gil Mickey Gilliver. You said, do you want to, can you go into that a bit more, what you're raising money for and what's it for? Yeah, she's, um, she's been in hospital. They're trying to get some private health care. She's been in, in and out of hospital for the last seven years. It's, Mickey was heavily involved in the boxing scene for quite a while. And he put a, put a thing out and, you know, I think people are going to get around him and try and raise some money for her, try and get some, some, some uh, private health care. So anything to make her life a little bit easier, do you know what I mean? And, and spend a bit more with, with, his, with her family. So they're always at the hospital. So hopefully we can, we can do something to help that along the way. That's a great cause, Chris. I appreciate that. That's lovely. So Jack, as we know, Chris is a tough, tough, tough opponent. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna come in there and just make you let him beat you up, let him beat you up and all that kind of stuff. So, how are you gonna take the fight to him? How are you gonna approach it? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but you know, if people that have watched me sort of regularly, they sort of know what you know what I bring. So, yeah, it's probably gonna be similar. I'm gonna come forward and you know put in some work. So, sorry, one sec. So the last time I saw uh, Jack fight, it was an absolute slog fest. Honestly, it's slog fest. He's a tough cookie. How are you gonna are you gonna match him pound for pound? Are you gonna are you gonna or are you just gonna take your time and see how it goes? Or how are you gonna approach this fight coming in with Jack? Um, approach it. Uh, look, I just go out there and I'll, I'll, I'll keep throwing until I can't throw. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Which you know, I think the later the fight goes on, the more trouble I'm in. The longer it goes on, but. You know, I'm pretty tough. I can, I can, I, 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 I'm quite resilient. So yeah, I'm, I'm, com I'm confident I'll go the three rounds. I haven't been stopped yet, sir. Now that's the question. Obviously, <coughs> both of you guys are a little bit tapped. Um, you love to get punched. You love to get punched. It's not a, it's not a normal thing that you that you see in boxing. Uh, normally, you know, it's box get hit and not get hit. But with you two, you love taking a punch, you keep walking forward, and you ain't been stopped, and you ain't been stopped. So that's, that's for me why I think this is such a great fight, because you ain't going to give off, you ain't going to give off, and it's hard because normally you would say that you, you, would, you would see a knockout. But at the same time, I've seen you take punch after punch after punch, you keep coming, and the same as you. So... Listen, it, it could be, it could be a stoppage, but if it's not, then honestly, you're in for three good rounds of boxing, toe-to-toe -to -toe action, none of these guys are going to let off. Um, so if you ain't got your tickets, guys, all, all I want to say is these two guys alone will be worth coming to watch and watch and, and be a great, great night. <laughs> okay, guys, please give it up for two brilliant guys. Uh, Jack and Chris Reese, thank you. Jack, we get you here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I could see many of those that was a job, they were Bam, bam. Can I get you this? Can we get you? You're in the background. Thank you, eh? <laughs> oh no, not a little one. Do you want to come around this side now? That looks so yeah, Sorry, Chris. That's right. Okay, and together? <laughs> facing each other first, let's face each other first. <laughs> Okay. I'm facing back out. I'm up. Well done, guys. Well done. That's going to be a cracking fight. Looking forward to it.